You're very welcome to our Virtual Learning New Farm Academy series. This is a webinar on the topic of ragwort control in grassland. My name is Martin Fitzpatrick. I'm Agronomy Manager with New Farm in Ireland. In this webinar on ragwort control in grassland, we'll cover the following topics. So we look at the problem of ragwort infestation, the biology of common ragwort, which is important to understand, different control options, and agronomy solutions that we offer at New Farm. Under the 1936 Noxious Weed Act, failure to prevent the spread of poisonous plants like ragwort is an offence. Ragwort contains alkaloids, which are toxic to livestock, particularly horses. Ragwort becomes palatable in hay or silage, yet it's still toxic at that stage. It competes with grass in a dry spring, like any other broadleaf weed, and it can spread then to neighbouring land and fields through seed. So to understand how to control common ragwort, then we just need to look at the biology of the plant. So it's a biennial, it germinates in spring, reaches rosette stage in the autumn, and then goes on to flower in the following year. So we'll look at some of the different control options then for common ragwort. Pulling and levering for uprooting low populations in small paddocks. Cutting prevents seeding, but plants regrow from the base and become more established, often becoming perennial. Herbicide applications then. Effective, of course, if the timing is correct. Grazing restrictions must be adhered to as well. Autumn is the best time for herbicide application to control ragwort. So you control the rosette in autumn of year one. This is at the susceptible stage to, for herbicide application. There's active growth in the autumn and downward translocation. Autumn application lessens the risk of any dried ragwort in hay next spring. So hopefully when you've sprayed it in the autumn, the plant will have senesced and died off by the time you come to grazing and making silage in the following spring. So I'll run through some of the agronomy solutions then we offer at New Farm. So Trust at 3.5 litres per hectare, which is a product that contains 2,4-D and dicamba. Another option is D50 at 3.3 litres per hectare, with NU46 or Agritox at 2 litres per hectare containing the active ingredients 2,4-D plus MCPA. Another option is Lupo at 4 litres per hectare, which contains 2,4-D and MCPA. Apply in favourable growing conditions until end of September. Professional products to be applied by persons with the appropriate spraying certificate. So then looking at trust then for ragwort control. Trust can be applied via knapsack, Control usually takes six weeks. So in our illustration there, we have a photograph of a trial we did, ragwort at end of August application, and this is the result in October. So nice senest plant. Some of the grazing restrictions then we must adhere to when controlling ragwort. So ragwort plants sprayed with this herbicide are more palatable and contain higher levels of toxins. Animals should be excluded from treated areas until any ragwort has completely recovered or died and there's no visible sign of the dead weed. So basically, after you've done your herbicide application and the ragwort plant is senescent, it becomes more palatable to animals. So you just need to be careful that all the material has disappeared before allowing livestock back into the field to graze. New farm products can be applied to agricultural grassland, including horse pastures and also to amenity grassland. Note that there's a two week grazing interval mentioned on the labels, only applies where ragwort is not present. So you need to go longer, as I said, than two weeks where ragwort is present. So ragwort control, normally takes six weeks and livestock must be kept out of treated fields for, for that time period, but it's a bit of a judgment call as to your own situation. Do not include treated ragwort in hay or silage crops because they could still be consumed and be toxic to animals, so just need to be careful. 
For this webinar series then, there are IASIS CPE points available. There's two IASIS CPE points available for this particular webinar on Ragworth control. Subscribers can, can, can claim their IASIS credits by emailing Anne at IASIS.ie and quoting the, the reference below. Thank you very much for listening to this webinar series on Ragword Control. I hope you found it useful. Look out for more great content from New Farm in the future. Thank you.